Well, they're hardworking and their tools are their livelihoods. But tradies are the target of a black market ring. Millions have gone missing and now it's up to the tool men to fight back. In broad daylight, in the dark of night, even directly under the lens. Thieves targeting tools and they don't care who's watching. For myself, it's four years of work that I've built up and they've come and overnight just taken that away. So I was in shock. I just didn't think it would ever happen to me. I nearly had to shut down. It's rife and it's emptying tradies' pockets. I had $8,000 worth of tools stolen. $10,000 worth. $15,000 worth just gone. And all up it's cost me $30,000. Even warehouses are being cleared out. $80,000 worth of tools, including an excavator, taken from this Torquay business in Victoria. The trailer stolen too. Mobile mechanic Paul Daniels is still reeling after he was hit last month. So at 508, he rocked up on the scooter. I mean, it was about six o'clock that he disappeared and came back with the ute. So he was released to here an hour and a half. Dressed up like a tradesman himself, this crim dives in, helping himself to Paul's tools, while Paul was just a couple of metres away inside his house. Look, we got scared. We can't sleep at night because of the fear of, of them coming back. Paul's ute, parked in his driveway at his Rothwell home, north of Brisbane, didn't deter this thief, nor did the security cameras or the rising sun. Didn't seem to mind at all. Balaclava it up. Most of the specialty stuff I actually don't have at the moment because I just can't afford to buy it all in one go. Cars targeted across the country. It doesn't matter where you park it, they seem to rob it. The first night I'm in my car outside of my apartment complex, uh, yeah, it got broken into between 12 and 5 a.m. So the first and last time for that, that's for sure. Ethan Samet is a 21-year-old electrician. A month after he finished his apprenticeship, his van was smashed open in Turak in Melbourne. Fifteen thousand dollars worth of his and his employer's tools stolen. I dropped to the ground. Yeah, for, I didn't even know how I felt, just blacked out, speechless. Yeah, it was um, definitely heartbreaking. Ethan's installed CCTV and says it'll take him 12 months to buy new tools. It's just more debt for me, I guess, and now every day it just feels like I'm working for free. So, yes, yeah, not much I can do. Carpenter Mitch Potts says his canopy locks were picked. He's since installed all the protection he possibly can. Put some cameras in, I've uh, got new locks, I've got an alarm on the doors now, so there's three, pretty much three stages of security they have to get through now to yeah, do it again. Yeah, there's not much more I can do without putting, you know, a big welded cage around it and making it unpractical to work out of. According to the latest crime stats, power tools are the most sought after, with power drills, saws and angle grinders at the top of a crook's list. If they can't get their hands on those, thieves will just take off with the toolbox itself. But in Tim Kerwood's case, it was the tool bag, and this young chippy couldn't have been happier because he booby-trapped it. Turned a bad day into a really fun day, that's for sure. $10,000 worth of Tim's tools were taken in Melbourne's inner city. With an inkling these crims would come back for more, he placed an air tag tracking device in a secret compartment. One that was easily accessible, thinking hopefully they take this as bait. And he'd hooked them all right. The air tag tracked the thieves from Richmond all the way to Thomastown. I hung out around the corner and the police went to the, the location. So the air tag saved the day? The air tag did, and it actually picked up a whole bunch of other tools from other people as well. It wasn't just my gear. The thieves had also left a clue into how they've been getting away with it. I went through the backpack that was theirs, um, and then I found a whole bunch of keys. We're talking a massive lot of keys. For I'm expecting a bunch of different toolboxes and excavator keys, and just you can see that they're pretty well practised in this. 
An arrest was made in Tim's case thanks to the old air tag trick. But most tradespeople fork out for new gear and never see their old tools again. In Victoria alone, more than 29,000 tools were stolen last year, equating to $20 million worth. To be honest with you, I think that's just the tip of the iceberg as to what it is. Peter Hosking, CEO at Tools.com, says a big problem with tool theft comes down to the quality of the toolboxes tradies are putting their trust in. If you're um, buying from a mass manufacturer, then typically if it's coming from China, then they're buying bulk lots of locks. Just like Mitch and Tim have done, Peter says to keep your tools safe, you've got to get new locks. Personalising the locks on, on your storage system is probably the, the most important thing to do for sure. So between tracking devices and a new keyhole, all that's left is a warning. We're coming. We're coming.